Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Ashok from TechieB and today's video will be reviewing Liquid Remix ROM which is 9.1 and it's an official release from this ROM is super stable and can be used as daily driver. First let me show you the software information over here going to settings about phone and these are the software information as you can see Liquid Remix build is 9.1 Android version is 8.1 with the latest security patch of 5th May 2018. This will be the first look of your ROM. It comes with a modded pixel launcher which have few customization options over here. Camera on this ROM is a stable one which gives you decent picture quality and also supports 4K video recording. This ROM has lots of customization options which can be found under liquid launch inside the settings. And here liquid launch is very well organized with sub menus inside each and every setting. Here you have few amazing carbon gestures in which you can choose right gesture, left gesture, up gesture and down gesture. So let me show you one of the example as I have selected right gesture for power and the finger chosen over here is two fingers. So let me swipe towards the right and you can see the device goes to sleep mode. And the same way you can customize the left gesture, up gesture and down gesture. Under AOSP you have swipe fingerprint for notification which works perfectly fine no issues. Later you have swipe left or right to dismiss the notification. So if you have any notification available you can swipe towards the left or right to remove all the notifications. Lock screen have few customizations like media art, charging info fingerprint authentication and few widget settings. Miscellaneous gives you options of alarm, suspend, wake lock and app operations where you can control the permissions for each and every app. Then you have navigation bar. Here you can get fully customizable navigation bar which looks similar to pixel and here all the buttons have a pixel animation. Notification have few options like head up notifications, battery, notifications, here you can control all the notifications related to applications. Then we have power menu, quick settings, recents and the last one over here is status bar which includes battery bar, career and clock options. Other than these you have few extra options available under display. So going inside display, you get an option of smart pixels. This will reduce the pixel size on the display and give you better screen on time. Under system theme, you have UI style which is based on wallpaper and you can manually change it to light, dark or black. Along with this, you get many essence color option and here you have lots of color options available in which you can choose any of these. Then you also get option to change fonts inside the ROM itself. It comes with root management pre-installed and under system you have few additional gestures available which is ambient display, hand wave, pickup notifications, pocket pulse and proximity wave. So guys these are the customization options on this ROM. Now moving on to the benchmark results going with Geekbench application. And under this results are 879 in single core, multi core scores 4415. In Antutu bench application, the scores are 79997. Talking about battery life, I've been using this ROM since 2 days and on an average I get 6.5 hours to 7 hours of screen on time. And if you guys want to install this ROM, I've made a dedicated video on installing custom ROMs on MIA1, so you can check out that video in the description below. So guys, these were the things available on this room. If you have any kind of questions, do let me know in the comment section below. And as of now, only this much in this video. Hope you like the video and if you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. Also, if you are new to my channel, then do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.